Tracy, got a little something for you. When I looked into myself back in the 80s, we called it the curse of the crying boy. I want you to reopen the case. There was only one thing left to do. Quiz some boffins about the baffling curse top pick. Or rather, ask some scientists to test the painting in a fire. Uh, in order to enhance the scientific credibility of this test, we're actually filming this. It's quite a big flame. The flame is now about two feet high. This is slowly inching towards the figure. Just, just the lapel of his jacket has uh, disappeared now. There's a hole in the bottom right-hand corner of the painting, but the flames don't appear to be uh, spreading across. Well, you'd have to say that has not caught fire. Uh, no, it's definitely dying down now. In fact, it's now time to put the sausages on. The painting had a hole in it from where the fire had touched it, but the flames hadn't spread. But you'd have to say that fire's pretty much going out. Martin, though, was a man of science and not given to superstition. For him, the unvarnished truth might be in the varnish. A bit surprised. I think it's probably been coated in something which is resisting the uh, resisting the flames. Whether it's actually some sort of fire retardant coating they put on the picture, or whether it's just some other coating which happens to have fire retardant properties. As I closed the casebook, one partially charred crying boy portrait sat forlornly outside on the porch. I'm not taking any chances. Would you?